Welcome back everyone, we're about to head into episode 1 of season 3. I'm going to predict that it's going to be a season that's centred maybe on Ian, just because it had Fiona, then it had Lip, now it has Ian going in order of age, which means Mickey must play a big part because of how much he, people love those two together. Uh, I'm wondering now if it's going to be about mental health in regards to Ian because of them mentioning about Monica having bipolar. And Deb spoke about it going down and skipping a generation, but I feel like it might be Ian. I don't know, I just feel like things will build up and maybe, I don't know. Also, he's seen the dad, or was seeing Jimmy's dad. Uh, Karen left. I really do hope she comes back. I feel like there's a lot they can do with her character. It's so much. So I hope we see her back at one point. I'm not sure what else can go on for the rest of the family. Frank will just be Frank. But I'm also interested if they're going to introduce new characters. Because we are on season 3. Usually around this point, someone new gets introduced. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. She also gave up an opportunity for better employment, didn't she? Because everything going on. Morning, oh yeah, I can definitely see the build up already from the seasons with like the camera work. Morning, Dabs. Okay. 137 days. When I was nine, he was gone for a year. He always oh, Frank left for a little bit, okay. Also, her voice said it's so different. I don't know if she's Watch. ill or just because puberty. Like, how bad has it got for Frank? Hey, can you help me? Senor, you, you need help. Yes, thank you. Where am I? Juarez. Mexico? See? Si. How did you... Did I miss Christmas? Christmas? You almost miss Easter. What, so he's been asleep in that place for this period of time? Like, what's going on? Second popsicle? Didn't like the first one, banana. His teeth are gonna rot out of his head. Yeah, Thanks seriously, what are you doing, Christmas. Jimmy? <laughs> Flipping Ian left early? They said they had to pick something up downtown before school. Downtown? What they said. Pick up what? Go, 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 go! When he said he had access to the building, I thought you meant through a door. I may have fudged on that a bit. Hey! <laughs> what are these two up here? Did they new pop call? They're not giving up. Jump, come on! No way, West Point takes you with a felony conviction. Call Mandy, I get the way that stunt of all. Milkovich has got to have good bail bondsman. Ah, oh, it's for Mickey. The way he tried to jump there, clearly that was such a different way to the way the stunt of all rolled. I need to know how Frank got across the border. <laughs> no, must have left him in my other pants. But I'm an American citizen, Chai Town, born and raised. No passport, no entry. Well, and how are you going to get him without a passport? When? Since Al Qaeda decided Americans needed killing. You see, if, if, he just if, Irish. the thing, uh, Agent Tacker, uh, you look like a man who occasionally enjoys a malt beverage so you can understand everyone's a couple of drinks can get out of hand but when it happens next morning you have to pick yourself up dust yourself yeah, off you've been right back apparently home. passed up for right? a while friend. or am i right just let me cross it. i won't tell anyone I'm letting you into this country so you can add to texas's homeless population next oh, yeah. Cat's worried our kid might find these online one day. Ah. The net never goes away. Kev Jr. is going to be surfing the net for porn one day and see his mom as big day. titties and get hungry. So, we're trying a new web thing. That's supposed to be mac and cheese. Hey, oh man. What are you up to? Uh oh, there's more.
Yeah, you better run. Is this to do with that woman's family? They <laughs> put him in that cell. Philip Ronan Gallagher, breaking and entering Ronan. grand theft, assault. Very Irish. Enforcement officers. Uh, campus security, Your Honor. I mean, hmm. still a minor, but a shame. <laughs> the defendant before so you, you beat a co-worker to death with a nail-studded two by four for finishing the coffee and not starting a new pot. You show up in this court again as an adult, I'll make sure he's your son. I was thinking if you get tried as guilty. an adult. Your Honor. What's it mean when there's a plus sign in front of the number? International call. International, yeah. Nigeria it's a country. Call to tell you want a million bucks. Jimmy didn't make any cookies. Is he realizing something's so wrong? Funny that, Casey spent time with his dad helping a friend look after her siblings. It's a tragic story, really. Mom's gone, dad's drunk. I mean, Out. it's okay. Thank you. Hey. They did warn us about him throughout the whole okay. season two about how dangerous he was. Okay, okay show off. Run, shoot him. Yeah. Damn, what a psycho. Thanks for bailing me out. Oh, Mandy. She used her dad's line of credit at Bad Bob's Bonds. Miss a hearing, oh. and my dad will come after you with a linoleum knife and a bucket of battery acid. Yeah, he seems extremely dangerous. Well, looks like you guys don't need me around here anymore. Great. Put some gloves on. Oh, that means he's an accomplice. His foot while I cut. And she sees all of it. When's Junior back? Wow. That's it. I'll call you if anything big comes up and we need some extra hands. Damn it. The things he can create. <laughs> sure you are. What the fuck? Border Patrol. Oh, okay. Please, yeah, you better go quick. Moving current can knock a grown man right Wait, off his feet. Uh, okay. How much further? Twenty miles to the rendezvous. Oh, to the rendezvous. Going so far. Two, tranquilo. Can we stop for a second? I, th I think I'm getting a blister. Manuel, este güey ya me tiene harto. Por qué no le metes un pinche balazo en el estómago y dejas que los cuervos le piquen? No, seriously, I'm wearing the wrong shoes. Anybody have a band-aid? El amiga, córrele, córrele. Oh god, yeah, run. And then they find out he's an American. It's like, why are you trying to cross the border? And then they find out. Dad's mixing vodka and speedballs again, so. Uh, yeah, keep it though. Being smart. <sighs> yeah, I can only imagine what he's going through. Now I think he's back to normal. I have to say, like, okay, organized. And the girl, he's, in, he's like, if we just do it now, don't ask, get him. That was before I realized that you were a little pansy quitter. Hmm. Is the spirit that I've been looking Frank for. does know how to get under people's skin. That is a talent of like getting me on the other side of the Rio Grande. It's badly, but yes, bad. Why do what do you want him to do? Amigo, let me introduce you to my friend El Cuchillo. El Cuchillo. Yeah. Cuchillo. Let's go. Cuchillo. The, the knife? What the hell is that? This this is a helium neon laser. 
And now I'm gonna perform LASIX on nearsighted neighborhood kids. 50 bucks pop. What are you doing this summer? He's facetious enough, it's just Probably grown. Probably pretty much what I did last summer. Drink too much beer. Smoke a lot of weed. You gotta pad your resume for your college apps this summer. You're a poor kid from the south side. And you got a 4.6. And that's Whoa. great. But you're gonna need a full ride. He clearly doesn't care about that. Spend the summer. He's like he he he's kind of goes through life. Like maybe it's just because he's so intelligent. Courtesy of Cook County Juvenile Court System. You've got a four point six. Yeah. My GPA is like one point two. Do you ever turn up? How smart are you? <laughs> Genius level. I have no idea what's gonna happen to Jimmy. Hey, Meg, how are you? I get it. You have it tough. But fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I won't let you down again. Come on, give me one night to show you what I can do. You won't regret it. One night. Give me a thousand bucks, I'll find you a night to promote. Promote? Yeah, you take over the club, do it all. How about for Tuesday the 15th? Next the whole week? club? Show me what you got. Mimosa. Uh, sure. I would like, I don't want anything from you, but now I'm gonna have to say yes. A man has few things of real value in this life. I believe the only true measure of a man is... She seems over Marco very quickly. ...to accept responsibility for his action. Don't you agree? We're here. Are they threatening Fiona? I knew the great things were big, but... I mean, damn, that's just so disturbing for sure. Surprisingly heavy for a man with so few brains. Does this mean that he can never divorce her? Like, he can't really be with Fiona? What's that? My final paycheck? Don't you have internet down at MLK Charter? What's the matter, Joff? You afraid a teenager's gonna kick the shit out of one of your half-assed bucket of bolts? <laughs> your engineering can't compete at the Black Bot Championship trophy level, Gallagher. Who'd you steal your designs from this time? Was it a Carnegie Mellon or White <laughs> I kind of hope they do okay here. I, I want to see them do okay. I like how they make it seem very underground when over here, what they do Robot Wolf was actually quite big. Piece of cake. What does he owe them, though? <laughs> Does he have to smuggle in cookie? Up his butt. But that means you can't get into any trouble. No stolen cars, no drugs. How am I supposed to make a living? Get a job. That's so hypocritical. Some girl. Jonah, yes? You can fuck her all you want for fun. But you're a married man now. She tells what she is. Get a whore. Oh, break it away! It is crazy. What are you doing, Sal? Does it have to be a certain angle? Yeah, here we go. Because they're, they're doing slow mo now. Is it gonna work? There you go, he won! Just keep walking. I was gonna say, just go with the flow. Just wave me right through. El Gran Cañón in person. El Gran Cañón, your new nickname? You're already a legend. Eight no. balloons, you've never had more than eight up one ass. You have more coke up your anus than any drug mule in cartel history. Jesus, Jimmy, you always gotta monitor Carl when he's online. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Jimmy doesn't care. I'm sorry. Cash prize for first place. Thought I could help out a little bit with the property tax bill. Yeah. Do you want me to run the payment down to the post office before school? No, I got it. Yeah, yeah. You saw, it's like Look at the way he walks in. This way they individually at that point stop. I feel like the only one happy to see him is Deb. Look at Ian. 
Yeah, that's it, carry on. Yeah. He's back. <laughs> Good luck, 18. Ah, he lies. Okay, that little part about thank you, Sheila. Yes, she did train him. I forgot about that, actually, because so much has gone on. Um, I didn't expect that, if I'm being honest. That was quite shocking uh, in, in regards to what's happened to Jimmy. A really dark episode. But I feel like I can't... I get the sense that... Is this Jimmy's last season? Or at least until immigration? I don't know. It's just clearly... It's very troublesome. Um, their reaction to when Frank came back makes sense. Uh, they didn't really... Like, Debs and Carl were here. But it definitely was about the older ones. Um, and... Mickey coming out soon, so that was a highlight. Mandy and Lip are together. Sheila and Jody are struggling, which makes sense. She, like, Karen's much older, and, you know, she hasn't looked after a baby in so long. Um, but yeah, it was the Jimmy thing. I didn't expect it to get that dark. I'm not saying it was a bad thing. It was just one of those things that I forget, like things like that. But uh, yeah, Marco went bye bye straight away. And she got over it quickly. I just, I don't know what it, again, I just don't know what it means for Jimmy. Uh, it's, it's, he's got to be really careful now, otherwise he's going to disappear. Um, and that will leave Fiona heartbroken. But she's got it that night to run the club and let's hope it works. Obviously, there's stuff going on with Ian, not just with who he's seen, but where he wants to go in his life. Interesting as well that they um, brought up Lips annoyance that people think he's just going to go to college and clearly he, he doesn't really want to do that maybe he just finds things too easy because he's so intelligent and the whole thing with frank at trying to get across the border um yeah it was just a wild episode i think that was my favorite open up for a season so far it was just wild like just genuinely just absolutely just and I can't wait to find out what happens in the rest of this season. Hopefully it keeps the kind of same energy. Maybe not. Maybe it needs a calm down episode at points. Thank you for watching.